Hey guys, it's Blind Dolly Girl and welcome back to my channel where we review dolls and toys with our hands. Today we are actually located in my kitchen because, well, I don't have a lot of good light right now and I really wanted you guys to have good light for this video in hopes that maybe you could see more details. So today, as you can hopefully see, we will be going over one of my favorite things in the entire world, American Girl lunch boxes. These are all historical. We have four here to review. Yeah, we have four here. We have Samantha's, Kit's, uh, Julie's, and Molly's. Now, only one of these dolls have you ever actually seen on this channel, but don't worry because I do have all the others and they will get, be getting their debut probably over the next month or so. I have a lot of things coming for them. Um, and that's the only reason for the hold off is I'm wanting to get the other parts of their collection so I can kind of like do an overview of, you know, everything. So, but I do love um, like pretend mini food. It's one of my huge, huge, huge obsessions. If you know, anybody who knows me will tell you that. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna be going over Samantha's lunchbox first because it's my one of my favorites. I mean, really, I love them all, but Samantha's is really unique because it's oval shaped. Now it is metal. It's completely metal. There's a handle on the top so you can hold it. And um, it's really unique. There's like this little lip here on the top of the lid. Um, I think it might be maybe like a smidge, um, rusted or tarnished or something. Like the color is kind of, eh, apparently. I, I bought this from a friend of mine, um, who I bought a lot of historical vintage stuff from actually over the last few months and she's the one that is sending me all the other goodies for all the other dolls and I can't wait. It would have arrived next uh, this month but I'm actually heading out of state like I mentioned in my previous video. So yeah. Anywho, let's dig in to Samantha's lunchbox. So Samantha's lunchbox is now open and the very first thing we feel on the top is her like linen napkin. It's actually really really uh, good detail. There's lace, uh, like embroidery on the edges and you can feel that. Um, it's cloth. It's a, it's a thick texture. Um, it's really, really well done. Next up we get is, I believe this is supposed to be an egg and there is like another half of this egg somewhere, but I don't know where it's, uh, it's heavy. It's actually pretty heavy. And um, there's like kind of little slits on it and it is plastic, I believe, but it's, it's actually like really heavy. I'm surprised. I think it's an egg. I'm 95% certain that's what this is, that it's an egg. And if it is an egg, I'm guessing it's white or maybe brown. So we get that. Next up, we get a lovely gingerbread man cookie. If I can hold him right, hang on, he's upside down. Hang on, come on, dude. Come on. Maybe you're supposed to go like this. Yeah, so I think he's supposed to be held like this. Um, he is flat and plastic. You can't feel any like design on him. It just looks like a shape but you can feel his arms and his legs and his head, which feels like the other limbs of his body, which is why I'm kind of like, mm, am I holding him right? No, I think I am. I don't know the colors of him um, because I forgot. So, but that's him. And last but not least, we get this yummy feeling sandwich. It is a triangle sandwich. It's just a half of it. I want I think this is water crust. I think that's what this is. And you can feel like the lettuce detail in between the top of the bread. The bread has some texture on it. It's really yummy. 
So we're gonna put these back in the back in the um, lunchbox. Get the napkin in there. All right. Now we're gonna put the lid back on real fast. There we go. And now we're gonna move on to the next lunchbox. Here we have Kit's lunchbox. Kit lunchbox is really unique. Um, it's green and it's got pictures of I think some sailboats and some other stuff. Um, I bought this from the American Girl website from the new Kit release but I got Kit herself from my friend. Um, Kit's lunchbox is really, really unique actually because it's really, like it's tall. It's super tall compared to the others. And you have two handles on the side that you can pick it up and carry it. And just like the other one, it is all metal. So that's really, really nice. So let's open Kit's lunchbox and see what's inside. Okay, Kit's lunchbox is open. And again, the very first thing we have on top is her little napkin. Um, there's also some embroidery. I think this might be a star possibly on it. It feels pretty much like Samantha's um, napkin, a little thinner, a little thinner, but otherwise it feels the same. And it's quite large here, hang on. I'll open it for you. See, can you see that? Hopefully you can. It's a pretty good size napkin. Like this looks like something you'd get from, you know, like in those restaurants, you'll get like a large cloth napkin sometimes. That's what this reminds me of. Next up, we get a cookie. I think this is oatmeal, I think and you can feel kind of the oatmeal texture like lines on the top the back of it is just plain it is plastic um, but i think this is oatmeal raisin and fun fact i don't like oatmeal raisin least favorite cookie okay i think this is why the lunchbox has to be so large you get a bundle of I believe this is um carrots and celery you can't really tell the difference much in the fruit but um they look fairly accurate and you can feel the stems on top which I think is um unique and did I say fruit I meant vegetables sorry but yeah you get three of these they're all molded together and it's plastic We also get a bundle of, I think these are pears. So what's really interesting about Kit's lunchbox is to my knowledge, Kit is the only one who I believe gets two things of fruit in her lunchbox. Um, but these are pears and they're molded together and there's once again, three of them. And I'm almost certain they're green, but don't quote me. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's, that's Kit's. Uh, lunch box, uh, kids pears. The third item we get is her sandwich. Her sandwich is a whole sandwich. I forget what it's made out of. I want to say classic ham and cheese. And you can actually feel like the really thin slice of meat in between the crust, but you can't really feel the cheese. Um, and it is square obviously and then you have the the texture of bread in between and you can feel the crust on top it looks it looks pretty good and it kind of looks like maybe even though you can't feel it there's a lot of cheese because you can um because it looks like the the top the two tops aren't really even with each other so it looks like maybe the top is like sliding one of the tops is sliding down. So that is Kit's lunchbox. It is empty. So we're gonna do what we did with the other one. Carrots, sandwich, cookie, napkin, and now we're gonna move on to the next lunchbox. 
Next lunchbox we get here is Molly's. Molly's lunchbox is red. This is the second iteration. I do have some of her uh, bag bag lunches coming, like just the bags themselves. But this is the first, this is the second one. It's red. According to what I know, she got this lunchbox as a hand-me-down from her sister Jill. And there's a handle at the top. You So you can, you know, carry it. And of course it is metal. Now her lunchbox is interesting compared to the others. And I'm gonna tell you or show you or tell you and show you why in um, just a minute. But there is a little clasp here above the, in between the handle. So let's open Molly's lunchbox and you'll see what I mean. So Molly's lunchbox is now open. And as you can see, the lid just kind of folds open like it, it looks like a very traditional lunchbox it doesn't the lid doesn't fully come off or anything like that and I love 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 this detail actually please disregard everything I just told you this is Julie's lunchbox how do I know that because I feel her water bottle in here so I really apologize this is Julie's lunchbox let's back up so you are now seeing once again the top of Julie's lunchbox. For those who can see and who have seen this detail recently, I apologize, but I'm backing up and re-describing for people like myself who might have limited vision or no vision at all. Julie's lunchbox is actually purple, and I think with some green leaves and some other detail around it, it is still square, it is still metal, all of that detail is still correct, but it is a completely different color scheme. It's actually a little larger than Molly's lunchbox, but not by much. So that's why I got confused. And again, you can flip the part down and you can open it. Maybe, hang on, there we go. And you can open it and then there's the goodies inside. Okay, now let's move on to the goodies inside of, of Julie's lunchbox. Oops. So one of the very first things we get is a thing of chips. These are all molded together. And uh, I think they're made to be like classic potato chips. And you can feel the individual circles. And they, they look really good. These might be like maybe salt and vinegar. I forget, but they look really, really good. There's a huge pile of them. So you get that. The next thing we get is a um, what is this? I think this is a, I think this is a water bottle. Yes, I believe this is a water bottle. Let me confirm. Yes, this is a water bottle. You have the top here so Julie can drink out of it. And I think it's purple. I forget the other details on it, but there's like a rim at the bottom. Uh oh, I just dropped it. <gasps> I just dropped it. Oh dear. Where did it go? Okay, we have the lid here. Okay, we're gonna have to find the, we're gonna have to find the water bottle in a second. Okay, next up we get this yummy looking cupcake. This is a hostess cupcake and I loved these as a kid. What's really interesting about this cupcake is that you do have the traditional lines on the bottom. It'd be like the wrapper, right? And then you have the frosting detail, the smooth frosting detail, but you actually have it. For anybody who has seen or felt a hostess cupcake, you know the traditional squiggle lines they do across the top and the frostings, right? This has that too. It feels so, so cool. And this is all plastic. Lastly, we do get a sandwich. I forget what kind of sandwich Julie has, but we do get a sandwich. I'm sorry, my hand's starting to shake. I apologize. That's not good. Um, and so the sandwich, you get like something in the middle. <laughs> this could be ham or cheese, but I forget. Um, maybe something else. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, and you get a, you can feel the bread, obviously. The sandwich feels kind of smaller than the other ones, but you do get a sandwich. So we're gonna put what we can back of Julie's lunch. Oh, and Julie did not come with a napkin, as you probably saw. There's no napkin in her lunchbox.
Now we're on to the very last lunchbox. This is Molly's lunchbox. This is the red one I was talking about when I thought it was Julie's and I got really confused and I'm sorry, but this is Molly's lunchbox here. Uh, this one, like I said, this is red and there is a handle up at the top. It's a very noisy lunchbox. It's uh, tin, obviously, everything is tin. Um, and it has the similar opening mechanism in between the handle. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so, uh, Molly's lunchbox is open. The very first thing we get, this is, this is a pair. This is a pair. Remember how I was saying in Kit's lunchbox that I thought she got a pair? She might have, those might've been apples, but this I know for a fact is a pair. It's a green pair and it's, uh, got a skinny top and a big bot, like a big, like a large base. And you can actually feel the little like stub at the top, like the stem. And I think it's green. That's the first thing we get. Next up, we get a uh, triangle sandwich. This is, I forget what kind of sandwich this is. I think maybe PB and J, almost certain it's PB and J. And what's really interesting is you can feel the PB and J like it's really smooth, so there's not a, a lot of like, um, there's not a huge texture difference between the bread and the PB&J. It's just a really like line, right? Cause it's just peanut butter and jelly. But in the middle, you can feel like this bigger glob to be probably like, and it's a little rougher too, to be like maybe more peanut butter. So that's fascinating. And you have the bread slice sizes on the other side. And again, this is just, um, a triangle sandwich. Next up we get an Oreo cookie. This is a really cute Oreo cookie. It's just one Oreo cookie. Um, you have, you can feel like the little ridges on the top of it to be like, you know, the Oreo crust. And in the middle, you can feel the cream to be like the yummy part of the Oreo. We also get uh, this, but I don't know what it is. Maybe a carrot, but I, I really don't know what this actually is. So if you can see this and you know, let me know. It's somewhat long and it's a little bumpy, but it's just one thing it looks like. So actually, no, it's not, yeah, it's a little textured, but I don't know. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> and lastly, we get her napkin. Her napkin, unlike Samantha's, unlike Kit's, is a thin, thin, thin napkin. This can rip super easy if you are not careful. This looks like just, almost feels like tissue. That's what this could be, is tissue. But it's not, it's her napkin. There's no embroidery on it. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just a napkin. Um, and really, really thin. So we're gonna put all the pieces back in her lunchbox now, like we did with the others. And I think that was all the pieces. Yeah, we're gonna, and we're going to, oh. Hold on. Oh, come on. And we're gonna close the lunchbox. All right, guys, that was a very well, somewhat quick review of all of my historical American Girl doll lunchboxes that I've collected so far since I am loving, or rather I love, American Girl doll pretend mini food. It's one of my favorite things on the entire planet. So my main usual things, like if I get a new doll, if it's available, I'm like, I need the doll, I need the meat accessories, I need the pajamas, and I need the lunchbox, and then I'm happy. <laughs> so these are like the four, like obviously I need other stuff, but those are the four things that I need to even feel like I have a start on the things I want. Those are the, the four things I always grab first. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for sitting and listening and or watching with me. If you have been enjoying learning about dolls and toys from a different perspective, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button so you'll never miss another one of Blind Dolly Girl's videos. And just a reminder 
There will be no video next Sunday. That is August uh, 27th. I will be out of state. Please stay tuned to my Instagram, however, because I will be uploading um, some pics probably over there as well as here, maybe on YouTube. So please stay tuned for a bunch of those things. Um, and I will be resuming my usual Sunday uh, posts and videos here, uh, probably September 2nd, that's Sunday, September 2nd. If I can't get to it on that day because I'll just be arriving home, um, they will start back up on September 9th, but I will keep you guys up to date. Okay, thanks guys. See you next time. Bye.